So welcome to my Fire of the Year video uh, for the year 2016. I made videos previously on Upset of the Year and Fight of the Year and I'll link them at the end of the description, at the end of this video um, to, check, to check out. Um, what I'm criterion this on is level opposition and dominance of victory uh, more than anything else. And remember this is my subjective, my subjective opinion and I may or not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with informed and knowledgeable opinion of the sport. My first nominee is Vysoly Lomachenko. Lomachenko this year beat Roman Martinez, a solid champion, maybe not the best champion in the world, but a solid guy, moved up in weight to do so, stopped him in five rounds, and he also beat Nicholas Walters, who is an A-level opponent, dominated him, stopping him at the end of seven rounds, forcing a recording retirement. That's a pretty good year. Um, my next nominee is Roman Gonzalez. Roman Gonzalez beat McWilliams Arroyo, a solid guy, and maybe not the best guy, guy ever, and maybe didn't have his best showing against him, but he also went up and waited to fight Carlos Carradas, who a lot of people felt was the best guy at super flyweight. You know, somebody that's you know, Yoni, I think he's say a Japanese guy's name, but he won that fight. It was a very close fight. That was actually my fight, fight of the year, the Karatis, uh gonzalez fight. Um, but he went up and waited got a championship. The next pick is Andre Ward. And Ward should because he got the win over Sergey Kovalev. Now, it was a close fight. A lot of people have not agreed to the decision. I scored it for Kovalev, but it was a close fight. Not I could have gone either way. It wasn't a robbery. It was just a close fight. His win over uh, Sylvan Barrera looks better now that Burr beat Vislav uh, Severinsky recently, but that fight against Alexander Brand kind of hurts the stock a bit. Um, my next nominee is Carl Frampton. Frampton beats Scott Quigg and Lilo Santa Cruz, uh, both close competitive fights, but as far as quality of opposition, I don't think has a better had a better year overall than uh, Carl Frampton. And my my final nominee is Terence Crawford. Um, Crawford had two solid wins over or two wins over solid guys, Henry Lundy and John Molina Jr. and beat top guy an A level guy, Victor Postel. All fight all fights were dominating fights or uh, dominating wins. Uh, two knockouts went over uh, Lundy and Molina, a, a dominating, clear decision over Postal, who is an A level fighter. Um, out of those guys, I think it comes down to uh, Frampton and, and Crawford. And I think uh, Crawford's overall body of work this past year is just better than, than anyone else's. I, his dominating victories over Lundy, Postal, and Molina, um, like I said, two solid guys, one great guy. Uh, it puts him over to good wins and close wins for Frampton over Quigg and Santa Cruz. So that's my my take on Fire of the Year. Um, like I said, I may not be I may or not be an expert, but I am a, a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. Who was your Fire of the Year? I'm curious to know. Um, did I leave someone out that you thought deserves to be mentioned? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. I thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.